read line. This is a command that allows you or anybody else who runs the program to enter information, text or number. This command waits for the user to enter information into a variable. Let's write a simple program demonstrating the use of read line. When you begin by declaring two variables, let's declare a variable name we will assign it a string and let's declare a variable age and we will assign this to an integer we begin by asking the user to by giving them a prompt using the right line enter your name and you'll give them the option now to read in this by using the read line and you're going to read in this variable name that is declared up there then you'll type right line and whatever name that they enter nice to see you and then you're going to ask them to enter their age run this program but first before we run the program we'll compile it see we have an error here because we forget to put the comma after name so we'll compile again and compile successfully let's execute the program and you would see here that the computer waits to get the user information so you'll type your name Andre Kadogan And it says return and say hi, Andrew Cadogan. Nice to see you. And then we we'll ask say age now, age 25. And it says so you are 25 years old. Now if you realize we need to format this program a little bit because we're seeing that the 25 years will are jumbled up and then there's no spaces in between. So let's close this window here and go back in the program again. All we need to do is to put a space between here and a space by high and same thing we will do here and if you want the space between 12 of them let's put a right line this will just give us a, a space between them and we'll put a right line procedure here again just it uses a spacing same thing here so the program will look neat and no easy readable now and let's run this program again but first let's compile 
let go run and now it again wait for the prompt enter your name and I will type Eric Egard hi Eric Egard nice to see you then enter your age 17 and then so you are 17 years of old so let's analyze this program a little bit as we could see that we declare the variable name and age then we use the right line procedure to get the user input by actually putting a prompt first and then after getting the user input that will read in a variable by name of name so the right line will first tell you enter your name and then it will read it into a variable name which is stored as or which is declared as a string afterwards the right line procedure now will say hi it would read the name that was entered here and it would be nice to see you same thing here the right line procedure came back here now to give a new line so the program would look space out and then it asks you again to prompt you again enter your age it stores it in the variable age and then it comes back now by saying you are whatever age you person put in years old let's run this program one more time and now we will type enter your name showing Thomas hi showing Thomas nice to see you at age 18 so you are 18 years old now interestingly they have a next output procedure called right instead of right line and look how simple I'll be able to do this by executing the program by just taking out the LN however before I run this program I just want to put a colon here and a space now let's execute this program and see how it looks run and as you can see now the prompt now is on top and not at the bottom so you can enter your name here Andre Kodogan and it will read out hi my name hi Andrew Kodogan nice to see you now I realize I didn't put the right line procedure here for enter enter your name because the, the cursor is blinking at the bottom so you could fix that also 18 so you are 18 years of age so if I wish I could take out the right line enter age and just type right put a space here so the prompt will come up on top compile and then execute and again they'll say enter your name Andre Kudogan hi Andre Kudogan nice to see you enter your age 25 let me type my correct age so you are 25 years of age now when we come back we're going to be using this same input variable to do mathematical calculations